Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a good morning, and for that matter, a great day. As you can see, we're back here in Genshin Impact. Today, we are going to be covering Of Ballad and Bruise, the newest event that has come out in 3.1. This is the classic big Mondstadt festival that happens, to my knowledge, every late September fall season. This is the, um... Second time? Third time? One of those two that this has happened? To this event specifically is going to be focusing around Razor, which is a character that doesn't get a lot of emphasis. We don't actually know that much about Razor, minus the fact that his parents are like, we don't know who they are. They may be someone special or they may not be anyone special. We don't know. We just know that he was left for the wolves at a very young age and he grew up with them. That's all we know. But this uh, builds this unique character where we don't actually know that much about Razor. So this might be the perfect opportunity to learn more about him. Like how I felt like the official event um, in the summertime was like the perfect way to get more details on how Fischl actually is in her character. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, you know what to do. Anyway, let's get into it. So, I haven't been uploading exactly consistently lately, and it's been kind of, you know, it's been all over the place. I've had some pretty bad migraines as of recent. I have medication for it. It's just, it's been pretty bad. So I haven't been able to like form sentences too well. So, if I end up missaying things, I apologize. Just confirm. Yes, all tasks on the checklist are complete. Traveler, Paimon, we are grateful for your assistance. What What does this mean? Thank goodness you were able to come as soon as. Oh, we this is the contract for. Who knows how we would have coped with all these commissions otherwise? For the festival. I was nothing. The last couple of days have been pretty busy, but it was all super easy stuff, like delivering and escorting goods. Yeah, that is we the easy that stuff. We short on people. We thought we were going to be in for another long and drawn out adventure. I mean, being the seasoned adventurers that you are, I don't really think lack of people of entails that. But in your recent assignments, however, this situation is unavoidable in Mondstadt at this time of year. Yeah. Huh? It's because of the harvest season, That's yeah, right. for all the grapes. This is the ideal season for harvesting crops and fruits. And for the wine capital of Tavat, it's also the all-important winemaking season. Yeah, it's like Farmers the prime to time to produce, start and all the major wine making all your wine. Top quality ingredients to make new product. And, and it's ah, a good time no to sell wonder. previous you year's wine. About wine these days. Yeah. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, seriously? Finn? Yes, I swear I'm not making this up. The acting grandmaster wants everyone to gather at headquarters in the main hall. Hurry! We need Ooh, to right this now is, we'll be late. This is the stuff hey, with uh Mika? Mika? We we saw this in the 3.1 uh, reveal trailer. Two nights look so flustered. Hi Kaya. Well, hello there. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. It has been a while a since we've pleasure. seen Kaya. Kaya! Just the person we need! Um, why is everyone running off to the Knights of Favonius headquarters all of a sudden? And is our help required too? <laughs> Don't worry. This isn't one of those occasions where you need to come to everyone's rescue. All that's happened... Not, not now. The Knights of Favonius have just received a letter from the Grand Master. Acting Grandmaster Jean will be convening a meeting in the main hall shortly to go through it. Okay, okay. Not not too bad. Just stuff with Micah, like I said. Hold on a second. What did you say again? Yeah, it's just... The Knights of Favonius received. The Grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius? That's... Isn't that Varka? The leader of that legendary expedition? Varka? So I don't remember Varka on? too well. How's the expedition going? When are they getting back? Well, you kind of have to go to the so hall to figure this out. Never knew you were such a gossip. It's only normal, isn't it? That you'd be curious too if there was someone you'd heard loads about but never met. 
I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, I'd be a tiny, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit curious. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, like, why can't we help them out in some way or another? Master is very gracious in her appraisal. Varka brought quite a bit of trouble to those around him on the road to becoming a legend. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. Okay. Anyway, it'd be you know since like. This has piqued your interest. Why don't you join me at headquarters? And we'll see what the letter says. I mean, the best we way to you know. Night after all. I'm sure we could make some time visit. for you sure. to tell us the Let's stories. Bye, Catherine. Right. See you soon. See you in Sumeru where you die. By the way, I do have plans to cover the Archon Quest soon after I cover the event. I just wanted to cover the event first because it's a, it's a little bit easier. Can't wait till I find out that I'm mispronouncing Micah's name or something like that. Uh, I cannot pronounce people's names hmm. correctly like just to save my here. life. Hey there, cutie. Paimon. I didn't know you two would be coming. So you heard about the letter? Yes. Yep. We ran into Kaya near the Adventurers Guild. Hello, Lisa. It's rare oh, to see you. Wow. Paimon's never seen in the main hall at once before. I mean, everyone's just kind of oh, curious. I'm kind of nervous now. <laughs> Don't get too carried away, all right? If I know the Grand Master, the fact that he has the time to be writing letters means it's probably nothing serious. It certainly won't be bad news. Yeah, no, if, if it was bad the news, there would be I agree. a little bit more uproar. After all, Mika's not the kind of person who'd be able to keep it hidden if something were the matter. The truth would be written Mika. Only yeah, no. Over there. Look. The kid standing next <laughs> the to the staircase. I hate it. I saw it once and I can't unsee it. He's, He's just the Chocobo, but as a character. Person. When the expedition team set out, the Grand Master appointed him to be the core member of the frontline team. I wonder if he would if he's going to be a playable character. Please, may I have your attention everyone. Now that we're all here, let's begin reading out the letter from the Grand Master. Okay. Mika, please go ahead. Y yes, Master Jean. Uh, right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I am Mika, surveyor of the reconnaissance company. Uh recently I have been taking part in an assignment with the expedition team. I will now be reading Grandmaster Varka's letter aloud for you all. Like, geez, relax. You can to feel the, the tension. Of Favonius. Greetings, everyone. This is Varka. The first thing I want to say to you all is please put your minds at ease. The expedition is safe. And all of its members are accounted for. Oh, that's fantastic. That's news. good. <sighs> My palms are sweating. <sighs> um, may I continue? Go yes. ahead, Mika. Go ahead. You don't all need right. permission. Now that your fears are laid, I trust you'll be ready to listen to the rest of my letter. I'm writing to you from the northernmost reaches of Tevat by the light of a stove. The expedition forces are stationed here while we restock. I once told you that the purpose of this mm. expedition was related to a dangerous secret from days long past. I am still unable to disclose more than this, but suffice to say that you needn't worry about how our mission is progressing. In Wait, the last couple of months, don't tell me that they have ties with Snezhnaya or anything the like that. Harbinger known as the Captain. Uh, the Captain? The Captain? I am fully aware of the Fatui's outrageous actions in Mondstadt in recent history. Nevertheless, the Captain was not hostile towards us on this occasion. That's Open good. Parenthesis. I rather suspect that's because this time... Snezhnaya and we are in the same boat. Close parenthesis. 
Okay. The man hides everything under the mask he wears, so no one can know his past or his origins. However, hmm. one thing is for sure. Similar to like the he doctor. He is as hard as iron for having the courage to challenge gods as an ordinary mortal. I don't doubt that he could even take out a ruin guard by stabbing it in its big glowing eye with one of Klee's crayons. Open parenthesis. Wow. Don't get any ideas. Close parenthesis. Our scouts have confirmed. I I I kind of I got I got some ideas from that. Natlon three days ago. We'll be able to sleep much better now that we don't need to worry about him anymore. I will admit that some of his actions have helped us, but even then he owed us at least that much. Yes, yes. This year's Vinlaza Fest must be kicking off in Mondstadt any day now. What a great pity that this year, once again, we will be unable to spend the festival together. That's, that is that is kind of sad. Everyone is always thinking back fondly upon the fine wines of Mondstadt, as well as the happy times we have spent with each and every one of you. Uh -huh, I hope uh -huh. that you and all the citizens of Mondstadt enjoy the festival to the fullest. Have a few drinks on our behalf. The Dawn Winery's limited edition Vine Laser Fest seasonal special. Will That's do definitely this. not a marketing pitch. May Lord Barbados bless Mondstadt. I mean, you you can you can market for companies sentiments that you just like. It's like me and Project Moon. Vine. I like all their games. P. S. Please go check if check them out. If you're wondering who's tougher between me and the captain. Well, I'm the Grand Master. There are ten captains in the Knights of Favonius, but there only is only one, one Grand, Grand Master. Master. Ah, ha, 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 that ha. that is pretty good. His left, not mine. The letter ends here. Thank you, everyone, for your attention. Okay, Chocobo. Thank you, Mika. Master Jean, um, I just noticed that there's something else. Written on the back of the last page. Oh. It, does it have something to do with Jean? P P S. I ran out of paper, so I'll add this here. Lisa, the following is a message for you. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, this part seems to be from the Grand Master to Miss Lisa. Oh, <laughs> for me. Huh. Uh, Seeing that it's a special message, Lisa, we'll discuss this in private. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. That's also Everyone, where they'll go the and kiss. As the mentioned in his letter, the Vine Lisa Fest is in just a yes. few days. And how fortunate we are at this time to receive word that all is well with the expedition. I mean, it's good. Though they are we know that the captain is now in Notlon, or going to Notlon, which is a good a thing to know that all for the future. That is looking forward to. I hope that everyone will guard your stations and perform your duties, both for our far-flung colleagues involved in the expedition, and also for the hard-working people of Mondstadt. And of course, during your time off, I hope you will be able to rest, relax, and enjoy this long-awaited festival. I hope you will too, Jean. Dismissed. <laughs> Maybe you should actually relax yourself. The captain oh, is an interesting like fellow. Bad, but it must have been important. He's strong. Uh, Matui, the real big deal here is the Vine Fest. Sounds like there'll be loads of free food and drink. Vintage or typical Paimon? I'm gonna say vintage. Hey cuties. How about we go and chat with Jean? You didn't get a chance to say a proper hello with so many people here. I guess. Is it really okay if I hear your secret special message from the captain? Also, you won't be able to kiss. Can I talk to you, Mika? Uh, uh, <laughs> hi there. Um, you must be looking for Captain Kaya? Actually, I was looking Please, for you. Don't mind me. Oh, uh, wait, but what? Oh, jeez, Captain Kaya. What? What should I say? Run, run, run. <laughs> oh, Mika. 
How have you not changed one bit after being on the front line this long? You were just asking me about the storm terror incident, weren't you? Well, well, hello to there. You to the legendary honorary knight. That's right. And also it's it's also strange that I've not officially been acknowledged by the knight. I'm you only ever an honorary. So I'm I'm in awe. Um, I have to go and report in with Captain Eula now. Please excuse me. Okay. Bye, Micah. Um. Mika, Mika. Well, that's too bad. Paimon was going to ask him all about the expedition. Yeah. That is a pity. It really is. But don't take it the wrong way. He's anyway, got a bit of a social anxiety of issue. Is focused squarely on you. Give it some time, and this will all sort itself out. Next time you see him, I'm sure you'll get along. I bet he's going to be a four in star. Fact, if I had to guess. A secret with you. Try talking to him about exploring the wild. You'll win his trust in no time. Okay. I mean, if I ever see him again, I will gladly do so. But hi, Jean. Ah, uh, Lisa. The Grandmaster's letter is just on the table. Traveler, Paimon. It's been a long time. Apologies. It I actually has been a long time. Meeting just now. If you don't have any plans in the immediate future, why not stay in Mondstadt for a while? We'll be celebrating the Vine Lisa I mean, Fest I, I will be leaving for Simmer soon Jean after, may but... You're very composed, but she's been missing you both terribly recently. <sighs> Lisa. <laughs> I'll leave you to catch up. I'm going to read my letter. <laughs> I've missed Monstat too. Monster, that's one of my favorite towns. It always has been. I really like the first town in most games like this. Neither of us really knows anything about this Vine Lisa Fest. Could you tell us more about it? Can you let Clee free? And like, can we just destroy the entire town together? Like Ludi Harpastum and Windbloom. In addition, okay. It's the most important part of the fall. Each fall. The west wind so this probably has only happened once, Legend maybe twice. The wonderful scent of Mondstadt's winemaking during the harvest season entices even the animal archon into attendance. Yeah, 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 I'm sure. Wine lover that he is. No matter where he is, he will transform into a soft breeze and return to his homeland. <sighs> yeah, that sounds like the animal archon, all right. Yeah, yeah. For this reason, it sounds Mondstadt like we know him personally. The wind, the returning wind. If only. The Vine Lisa Fest originally began as a celebration to welcome Lord Barbados on his return. In the past, every household would brew fresh wine around this time of year and keep it sealed at least until wind coming day during the following year's Vine Lisa Fest. Uncasking the sealed wine is a symbolic way of inviting the Animo Archon to share a drink. Legend holds Richly that if the Animo Archon blessed. is satisfied with the taste How? of wine, he will summon a gentle breeze to richly bless the people. Oh, yeah. How, how do you richly bless the people with wind? Knowing him, it was probably blessing them with more good wine the next year. Yeah. That's a good question. Huh. But there's really no way of knowing. These are very old stories. I mean, I'm sure I, I could go and ask him. Lost to time. Yep. Some stories change completely as they get past that. Yeah. Hence why these days, monsters mm -hmm. will get into endless arguments over what kind of flower a wind bloom is. <laughs> All part of how cultural heritage is created. Indeed. But for the time being, at least, the tradition of paying tribute to the animal... Can I, can I like, leave so you guys can kiss? And well. And the Vine Lisa Fest remains a time for Mondstatters to share the joy of the harvest with one another as they partake of fine wines. This is a time of the year when many Mondstatters living away from Mondstadt return to their hometown. For those unable to return, Vine Lisa Fest is the period when they miss their family and friends most keenly. Oh, so that's why the Grandmaster wrote, May the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. For this year, we've joined forces with Can the Church kiss? of Favonius and the Adventurers Guild to host a celebration on the banks of Cider Lake, just outside of Springvale. There will also be a Can traditional wine market during the festival period. Wine market? 
A wine market. Well, Interesting. Originally, it was simply a place where winemakers and farmers would come to trade in raw ingredients for winemaking. And now it's where it is wine a much is sold. Grander affair. Not only will you find a range of choice wines, but seasonal fruit beverages and Ooh. food items for everyone to enjoy too. Fruit juice? A lot of people also sell secondhand goods and handicrafts at the market. A good fruit juice is like to die for. As an opportunity to do some fundraising. I would love some like and cider. You know, some cider. Wow. I, mean, I know cool. hard cider is also really good, but if like. If you have the time. I encourage you to take some a soft cider. I hope you'll find it a worthwhile experience. Um, now, Lisa, what was the Grand Master's message to you about? I was just about to bring that up. The Grand Master's Razor's me past? To something for him. Something to do with Razor's past. What? Razor told us that he was raised by a pack of wolves in Wolvingham. Never knew his parents. In his own words, the wolf pack is his lupica, which means family. Oh. Yes, that was as much as I knew as well. But in his letter, the Grand Master says that in the cabinet above the third bookshelf, to the right of the grandfather clock in Jean's office, there's a wooden box containing some items that Razor's parents left for him. Huh. He says, it's time to give the box to Razor. Cool. Does this mean the Grand Master knew Razor's parents? If I had it to guess, so. probably. The Grand Master didn't simply run into Razor one day in Wolvendom and teach him how to use a sword. No, the connection between them goes back much further. Oh, are they related wow. or something? Oh, come on, let's go find Razor. He'll be. Hmm. Um, Lisa, something worrying you? Oh, cutie, nothing escapes your eyes, does it? Yeah, you sighed heavily. Biological parents, this kind of conversation is always a difficult one, even for the most well-adjusted. Yeah. In contrast, Razor grew up in Wolvendom and has had very limited contact with human society. Who knows whether he's ready for this or not? I mean, I'm sure the Grand Master will have given due consideration to Razor. I'm sure I could talk to them about it. Perhaps he felt that now would be the most appropriate time. I have invites That's on. A good point. Wow. Okay, cuties. Can I leave you to break the news to Razor? Yeah. He thinks of me as his teacher, so he might not open up to me if he gets upset. Yeah, you don't worry. Leave this to us. I think it makes more sense for him to hear about this from you. Yeah, I'm sure I could, Thank like, you, talk to him about it. Try to be as encouraging as you can. Someone his age needs all the love and support they can get. How, how old is he again? Like, 16? Maybe younger? I don't actually know Razor's age. I mean, for granted, a lot of the characters don't have canon ages. They have, like, an age range that they fall into. Um, so... How do you think he'll react after hearing about this? I'm guessing he'll feel excited and also sad. Hey, look! It's a hunting trap. Hmm. It looks like the ones that the hunters from Springvale use. Weird. Is it connected with razor huh? what is it uh traces of electro energy are near the trap electro energy hmm paimon wonders if it could be razor but paimon thought he was pretty good at avoiding the hunters well anyway let's follow the traces of electro hmm. and see where they lead. maybe he's trying to hunt to feed his wolves also, I'm just standing immediately into the bear trap. No side effects. Look, there's another trap up ahead. And can you feel that electro energy too? Yeah, once again, maybe they have something to do with Razor electro putting them down. Them. Let's keep going. I don't know. That's my guess. Oh, I hit E. It's telling me to track it with my elemental sight, and I'm just like... It's pretty obvious that you just keep walking forward. All right. The last trap has been set. Razor, thanks for coming with me all this way. Oh, so yeah, it's they okay. are working together. My legs are strong. Hmm? What is it, Razor? It smells familiar. Friend. From far away. Hello. What's up with you? Oh, and it's draft too. Are you two hunting together? Uh, draft? Yes. Are you? It's almost I forget. Season, you're you're the, the towns and wineries looking for food. Diana's father? 
Something like that. By trampling crops and destroying the vineyards. Someone could get seriously hurt. Oh. The Knights of Favonius came to us asking for help, keeping the boars a safe distance away from the population. Yes, yes. I and Uncle Brown Cat catch boars, protect everyone. Uncle Brown Cat. Oh, Razor, this is a big step for fair, you. Fair, fair, fair. remembers you used to hide away from the hunters. <laughs> you can say that again. Razor was the star of the show this time. He let the wolves know we'd be coming, so we were able to get through Wolvendom without anyone getting hurt. That's good. Helping everyone, helping Lupacall, makes me happy. <sighs> but much talking. Very tired now. Still a sign of progress. Yeah. A bit introverted is fine. Actually, we came here today because we have some really important news. Yeah, we have to take this slow and talk to you. Oh, I don't know. Razor, do you mean you don't want to know about your real parents? I want to know, but don't want to know. I totally get that. Uh, so you do want to know, but at the same time you don't want to know? Huh, sounds complicated. It's how Trevor, feelings are. Come and take a look at the trap I just placed. Let's give Razor some space to process things. Um, what is it? Uh, yes, I have some thoughts about this after seeing how Razor reacted. What, what, what? We've been what? hunting together a lot recently. The kid might not talk much, but still, I feel like I've come to understand him a little over the time we've spent together. That's good. Here's what I think. He definitely wants to find out about his parents. It's just But like, he's afraid of it. His fear of the unknown is overwhelming everything else he's feeling. Ah, I'm yes. I'm a father myself, so I know a thing or two about kids. You know, when Diana was little, if I got back late from a hunt one night, she'd be watching me like a hawk for days afterwards, as if she was worried that I might abandon her. Do you mean <laughs> I don't blame her. It's, it's how parents are. By his own parents? Exactly. It, it's a good I idea. I think that's of it. And if it turns out they did, well, I don't think there's anything we could say to console him. That's not my only concern, though. Razor is developing at his own pace. There are lots of issues that can't be solved all in one go, but he's making progress one step at a time. Yeah. And now this thing with his parents is added into the mix. It might push him to want to figure out once and for all where he comes from and where he's going. Yeah, it might force him harshly into one way or the other. Which is both a good and a bad thing. trusting other people and in your own instincts it, it's truly hard it's think? not something comp or it's not something simple it's something very complicated uh i will be there with him you know i'm his friend through gotcha. this all well knowing that he's got a friend like you to rely on i mean even if he wants to travel the world i would totally be willing to take him on my party he just has to sort of join me on looking for my brother and he, he, he'd have to look for himself, but... Okay, okay. so we have formed a game plan. We don't want to keep him waiting. Hey, Razor, so what are your thoughts? Still Good question. Thinking. My heart, it feels strange. Like being stabbed by a wolf hook it, it's it's a bit of sadness probably uh what do you think of varka varka hmm tall very strong likes to laugh then do you trust varka yes trust he's very good to me give me a name teach me to fight but now busy with important work I miss him. You know, Razor. Completely fair. Marka used up all the paper writing this letter, but he still made sure he found room on the back to add a note for Elisa. He specifically told her to give you the things that your parents left for you. That means that he thinks the items have a special meaning for you. But more importantly than that, whatever happens, the traveler, Paimon, Lisa, and all your other friends will always be here for you. 
don't worry, everything will be fine. But also, it's it, it really is a hard journey, you know, getting over concepts like this. That's right. And old Uncle Brown Cat's here to support you as well. Okay. Thank you. I decide I want to go with you to see teacher. That's good. Very good. <laughs> That's the spirit, kiddo. Well, you folks better be heading off then. I'm just about finished here, so I'll be heading home very shortly myself. <sighs> I'd better try and get plenty of father-daughter time in before the uh, yes. <laughs> uh, <laser> fest starts. <laughs> Diana's going to be awfully busy Father, now, isn't she? You again next time. I was right w with... Uh, the idea that he was Diana's father. I thought so, but I didn't exactly remember him. So, Lisa, I bring Razor with me. Lisa, we brought Razor. Hello, teacher. I'm here to see the box. What's in the box? Oh, the wolf cubs in a good mood. <laughs> What's in the I box? They discussed the whole story with you already. Yeah. Um, discussed the whole story. Here, this is it. The wooden box. I haven't touched it, except for taking it out of the cabinet. When you're sure you're ready, you can open it yourself. That is a good way to yes. make him have the choice. I'm sure. Ooh? Oh, this is just a pile of junk. Paimon hey. can at least be a letter or something. Hey, Paimon. You don't think that, after all this time, Varka might be getting mixed up between different boxes? No. A scent? A scent? I remember from a long, long time ago. It's their scent. His family. Human scent. Father and mother's scent. Oh, incredible. You still remember scents from all the way back in your childhood. I mean, wow. it's just you one of those really sensations that humans smell, probably Razor. remember. Guess being wild by nature has its advantages. Yeah. Oh, look. Mm. This woolen hand puppet looks kind of wonky. Guess it must be handmade, huh? And parts of, part from of a, a ruin ruined guard? guard? Wait. Hey, look. This wine bottle is still half full. And there's a note stuck. Awfully optimistic of you. Thousand, I see it as half empty, uh, Pybod. Thousand Wind Wine. Thousand oh, Wind Wine? So it's a bottle of Thousand Wind Wine? Teacher, you know... Hmm. Of course. Isn't that a unique wine, wine was the first kind of wine that Mondstadters ever learned to make, or so they say. As to how it got its name, some say it's a reference to the numerous ingredients used to make it, while others say it's because every bottle tastes slightly different. Okay. I remember reading somewhere that there are all sorts of weird and wonderful ways of brewing it, and that it's very difficult to ensure it comes out tasting the same each hmm. time. Hmm. This all makes it impractical to commercialize. Wine merchants are much more comfortable working with reliable... Yeah, consistency, 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 consistency is all... never see thousand win wine Govern in or all taverns. businesses care yeah. about. In fact, it looks like your parents brewed this bottle themselves. Oh! That must mean there's something pretty important about it. <gasps> oh, Paimon has an idea! Razor, you got a good nose. Why don't you open it up and take a whiff? Maybe it'll tell you something. That's going to okay. be an interesting smell. It's probably as old as Razor is. If I had to guess. Huh. He seems really in the zone. And is that a smile? Find anything? Sweet. Cold. A little bitter. I like. Many things all mixed together. Neat. Ugh, but things in wine smell different. Huh. Even you can't tell what it is, Razor? I will try again. <sighs> it's okay, Razor. Don't, Don't push, push yourself, yourself yeah. Hard. What do we do when we try something hmm. that doesn't work? Try another way. That's right. You still remember what I taught you. Oh, it's almost the Vine Lisa Fest. Everyone who knows anything worth knowing about wine will be gathering in Mondstadt. Oh, so we're going to sure bring this wine bottle around and be like, wine. Do you guys know anything oh, about this Thousand Wind Wine? 
Will Venti be coming? Make sure you don't miss the opening ceremony, cutie. Everyone will be there. I, I'm not planning Lisa, on missing you it. Should go too. It'll be a good opportunity to ask around. Okay. A lot of people. Ask many people. I will try. Don't worry. We'll be right there with you. We can be your go-betweens. You know, like you are with the wolves for draft. Yeah, yeah. Interesting comparison. Okay. Then I will go back now. I need to tell Lupacall about human mother and human father. Interesting. Hey, see you at the opening ceremony. Hopefully that goes well for you. Okay, here we are in Springvale. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. I am pleased to announce that this year's Vinelesa Fest has officially begun. I mean, we cool. We hope the residents of Mondstadt and visitors from all over will enjoy the magnificent wines and experience the joy of the harvest. Yeah, when probably. Day arrives, <laughs> I don't know. A grand toasting ceremony I'm not, to I'm not the, the biggest Arcon fan of wine, I'll be honest. Back home. Let the wind it's like lead. more sour, more bitter grape juice lead. in most scenarios. So many people. Come on, let's sneak out of here. There's someone we gotta find. Find? Uh, Just some tone deaf bard. But he's also a know it all and loves nothing more than drinking, so he might actually be able to help. Yeah. And actually, he's been around for quite a while, you see. He's quite knowledgeable, you could say. Hello, Venti. Hello. It's been a while. Traveler, Paimon, how do you do? <laughs> I had a feeling I'd say I do quite fine during this most enchanting of festivals. Spoken like a true poet. Hmm. But reading between the lines here, if one bottle is tipsy and two is merry, just how many is it's enchanted, enchanted exactly? Very enchanting. <laughs> That's oh, great. Don't say that. This festival has so much more to offer than just drinking. Yeah. Anyway, hey Razor, how have you been? I can't wait to partake in the the actual like All right. event part. I have. Yeah, Razor has something he wants to ask you about. Know anything about Thousand Wind Wine? Ooh, now there's a name that takes me back. <laughs> Let me think. How long has it been since I last heard someone mention Thousand Wind Wine? That's a good question. His parents left him a box with a half bottle of wine inside. And there's a label on it that says Thousand Wind Wine. We heard there's a lot of history behind this type of wine. And the brewing methods go way, way back. So we figured you'd be a good person to ask. I'd argue he's probably good. the most no knowledgeable know person to inside. ask. I see, I see. So you want to know how Thousand Wind Wine is made? Well, you came to the right person. I happen to know a little rhyme called... Uh, well, as it happens, Thousand Wind Wine. I was going to save it for wind coming day, but far be it from me to deny an early serenade to a friend in need. How about it? Shall I recite it for you? A song. Not easy to understand, but still one to hear. Excellent answer. <laughs> I, I'd argue pretty good answer. Here you shall. Fill up the barrels and store them away. Then wait, wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight. For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste? To the I think I've heard some Venti say here, something like, like this before. Freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. A defender's will, strong as yesteryear. Joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer. Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away. As we wait Interesting. for a windier day. I know that sweet wine exists. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the applause. Uh, was the rhyme of help to you? Like wine. A little sweet, but now head spinning. Don't understand. Don't worry, it's not just you. It, it is un unintentionally. Didn't give a single detail about the process. Yeah. <laughs> Other than it's well, sealed. Maybe it's a little abstract. And stored away. Fantasized, but that's one of the defining features of Mondstadt poetry. Not very useful okay, now, is it? So let's try to pin this down. <laughs> what did the 
poems say the ingredients are? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's a will. will, and the thousand winds? Song of good cheer? Nope, Paimon has absolutely no idea what any of these refer to. N neither do I. Look, Tone Deaf Bard, you clearly know what the whole thing means, so could you do us a favor and at least give us a hint? You misunderstand me. I'm not trying to make you work for it or anything, but the lyrics are what they are. If there's anything they left out, even I can't fill in the blanks. Interesting. If you want to know the secret behind this sweet scent, you might have to start by rolling up your sleeves. Rolling up our sleeves? You mean we need to go and make this wine for ourselves? And somehow that'll teach us everything we want to know? Weird. Uh, this better not be a prank. We've known each other for so long, and you still don't trust my intentions? Oh, oh the pain. Dude, I don't like that I, I could relate I to Venti's to acting. I want to make wine and find answers. If I know how to make wine, then I know what is in father and mother's wine. Yes. Right. I agree. I want to know about them. Well, if you say so, Razor... It, it might be sad. His story might not be a necessarily happy one. There's no shame if it turns out bad. Don't worry, really. Freedom is the key here. It's not as hard as you might think. As long as you add ingredients to the mix in a spirit of joy and sincerity, I promise you will reap the rewards you wish for. Hmm. I will tell Poem to teach her. Then I need to think alone. The spirit. So, how about we meet again in two days? Let's say <laughs> another waiting of two days. Okay, I will remember. Okay, I guess I now need to. Oh, the act one is complete, and therefore the event has fully opened up. This is so beautiful. Just everything about this is so beautiful. Hi. So, we got the Autumn Crisis with the boars, a little quest. We got the Trials, which has its own quest. We got the um, Charity event, pretty neat. And then the Cast, where you go and find all the treasure. Okay, second act. We're back. Where are we going, Razor? Mm, maybe he is. Yeah, Just not where we expect him to be. When we last saw him. Do you think he fell asleep when he got back and is still snoozing away now? Um, sounds like something you do more than Razor. Let's walk around. L yeah, let's wait and see. Fair enough. You're right. <laughs> Just bullies waiting. the heck out of Paimon. Well, since we've got some I know people hands, hate Paimon. I don't get it. Not at all. Some ingredients, but they all sounded super abstract. Yeah, they were more an concepts. Courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and the thousand winds song of good cheer. Did I think that last part this? might have to do with venti. Um, maybe they're maybe they aren't ingredients. Maybe did they describe character? For this wine's character, where do we start? The Adventurers Guild or the Church of Favonius? Huh? Are you saying that it has something to do with Mondstadt's institutions? Probably, if I had to guess. I mean, it is a song about Mondstadt wine, probably. Yes. Um. As for the word defender. surprising amount of sense. So the poem wasn't talking about any specific ingredients after all. More like the general gist. Of Mondstadt in general. You're trying to capture Mondstadt in a bottle. You mentioned are organizers of a the unique concept. Wait, this is way too big of a coincidence. That tone 
Wait, did he just make all this up on the spot? Perhaps he did. As a way to help Razor, I mean, does it really matter? In that case, the last part about the Thousand Winds Song of Cheer must be code for the toasting ceremony. Oh, 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 now we're cooking! We'll crack your riddle recipe yet, Tone Deaf Bum! When Razor gets here, let's visit all the places you mentioned and talk to some people we know there. We definitely should be able to find some more clues that way. Miss Honorary Knight! Ooh, Hi, Clee! Hello there. I'm sorry. I'm late. That's alright. We were just chatting. The travelers Nice to see you, Clee. We're finally on to something. Hi. I was on my way, then I saw Klee. Does Klee and Razor, like, are they good friends? Albedo is super busy helping Timaeus fix his recipe for an Ooh. extra strong sobriety potion. So he doesn't have time to come play with me right now. I'm just playing by myself instead. Ah. it's so cool. All the grown-ups in Mondstadt are out to celebrate the festival. Everyone's smiling and having loads of fun. Mm -hmm, I wanted mm -hmm. to join in too. So I made a whole bunch of stuff so I can celebrate with everyone in my very Please don't own tell me they're bombs. Very own way? Uh-oh. This does not bode well coming from Glee. Please don't tell me they're bombs. And that's when I bumped into Razor. Um, <laughs> bomb crisis averted. <laughs> Razor Great job, Razor. Kind of different than usual. Like he was thinking about something. So I asked him what happened. And then Razor said that he was looking for his mommy. Mm hmm I did not say mommy. <laughs> he <laughs> said mommy. Okay, silly. Mommies are important people. So finding your mommy is a super important job. That's why Clee's gonna come help. Dude, Klee, you're very helpful. <laughs> Razor, Razor, finally, I found you. What's up, Bennett? Bennett? Oh, <laughs> look who's here. Hey, everyone. Hello. Here, this is for you. Where's my official and, uh, ooh. Uh, lamp grass? A small lamp grass? Yep, that's right. I tripped up on it this morning and took a little tumble. I did a full face plant, but somehow this little thing came out completely unscathed. That's, That's good. That's when I knew it was destined to go into your wine mix. Okay. Bennett, how did you manage to trip up on a small lamp? Grass? I would manage to trip up on a small lamp grass. Did They're like hooks the in the ground. That sounds horrible to walk around. Dude, you try to like lift your foot up, you get caught on the like leaves, and then you just fall over, and then you rip it up out of the ground and. I, I'm, I, I swear, I'm not just clumsy. I might also just be clumsy. <laughs> to be fair, they only glow at night. No, no, I wasn't talking about the glowing. What I meant was, they're really big and easy to spot. So, I don't get how you didn't see it. I mean... Uh, <laughs> uh, I was just running too fast and got careless, I guess. Who knows? Okay. Maybe I won't tell them about the other face plants that came after that. Anyway, I've been all over the place trying Poor to find Bennett. Razor this Poor morning. Poor Bennett. You but also deserve head pats. You know what? Everyone Good here deserves head now. pats. I can finally catch my breath. What a trooper. Thanks. How did you know I need ingredients? Oh, that? Yeah. Interesting story. Oh? This lady came to see Master Cyrus. Asking for the Adventurer Guild support with the Vine Lisa Fest. She said she was a librarian. Ah, uh, Lisa. Anyway, she mentioned your situation. Lisa, too, you're tearing me apart. Whoa, Lisa is doing some real work for once? <laughs> oh, so that was Lisa. Damn. People say she's Damn. Crazy intelligent, but just doesn't go out much. Damn, <laughs> bye, mod. Lisa's really doing some work for what? About what Absolutely to destroyed. A load of suggestions that I was going to discuss with you. But then I realized that small lamp grass was clearly the best. It shines a light to guide the way for explorers in the dark. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful thing? Hmm. Apologies for the trouble. Ah, don't give me that. I get how you must be Is Fischl going to help? This. Do I get to see Fischl? Help out your friends, right? I like I like if having Fischl around. Uh, well, 
my dad's ever needed help one day, I know you'd be there for me too. Yes. Can I help too? Please. Sure, Clee. Sure, Clee. Clee's in high spirits today. She seems more excited by this festival than anyone. Bennett, before now, you never talk about your family. Uh, <laughs> well, that's because I never met my parents. I was raised by some of the older adventurers. Ooh, the okay. So we're not exactly a typical family. Um, but if you do want to hear about them, I can tell you some of my dad's stories. Mm. Okay, I'll start with the most awesome one. Oh? Oh, Bennett. You can be mommy's kid, just like Clee. My mom is super nice. She'll take great care of you. Oh? Huh? I really appreciate the thought, Clee. But I'm afraid I can't accept your offer. I already have my dads and all my friends. And let's not forget that I'm the leader of Benny's adventure team. You don't need to worry about me. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got it. Um, then have this. A jumpy donkey. Hey, here, have a bomb. Yeah, it's a lazy, dopey, jumpy dumpty that always dozes and never explodes. I hope you guys can. Can I have one too? Are you sure? Yep. Can, can jumpy, I have dumpy, one too? Happy to make a new friend too. I also happy for you. Um, you still looking for ingredients, Razor? I assume. Good idea. Maybe Clee will bring Bennett some good luck, and the adventure will go smoothly. <laughs> yeah, and maybe. Find some treasures you'd never noticed before. <laughs> or maybe Bennett will just it's disappear so halfway through. That Clee will be the only one who gets lucky. Still. I mean. She is the Spark Knight. With all the four leaf clovers, her entire thing is locked. Cool. Don't worry about a thing. We'll look after each other. Yay! Adventure! Treasure! Find Lisa Fest! Let's go! Let's Oh! Wait, but what about Wolfie? Wolfie, uh, I mean Razor needs looking after. Honorary night, Paimon, you'd better take care of Razor, okay? Make sure he finds his mommy. <laughs> Leave it to us. Good luck. Yes, we'll help him find his mommy. See you later, folks. See ya. You better take good care of Klee, Bennett. Or you'll be hearing from probably just Daddy. I mean, and the like five other Klee fans. Hi, uh, yes. About the ingredients Venti mentioned in his poem. We think that they're actually a description of the wine's characteristics. Plus, it seems like each of them means something special to one of the three big institutions in Mondstadt. So These are a lot of big words, Paimon. Each place, maybe we'll find what you're looking for. <sighs> What's wrong? Something on your mind? Do you want to talk about it? Yes. These days, I think a lot. I am not smart. Not like teacher. Not like traveler. But I still have to think. Well, yeah, most people have to think, I'd argue. Everyone is ready to help, but some things I must do myself. Yes, yes. I don't understand human father and mother, but I must find a way to understand. Maybe I can learn about other people's father and mother first, then think about my own father and mother. That's mm. why I want to ask questions. That's great! Keep at it, and you'll definitely find the answer eventually. Never knew Bennett is like me. I'm not surprised. When he talks about dads, his scent changes. Warm, like a bed of straw in the sun. Let's find more people to speak to. Yeah! We should head back into the city. Let's find a friendly face at the Church of Favonius. Hmm. Now, who does Razor know best at the church? Good Excuse question. Me. I couldn't help but overhear you're about to head back into the city. Is that right? Yes, yes. I'm waiting on a fruit cart from the city. It should be here now, but I'm getting worried that something may have happened on the way. But I can't leave the festival to check up on it. Okay. Right. Would you be able to do me a huge favor and keep an eye out for the cart on your way back? Sure. Um, well, if it's on the way... Okay, we go. Everyone helps me, 
Now I have chance to <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you so much. I, I I really do appreciate that no one uh everyone sort of respects, you know, Razor. I know he's very easy to make fun of for his inabilities, but you know, his lack. This way. Oh, Paimon sees the cart, but what are these hilly trolls doing? Ah, here? hilly trolls. Do you want some fresh fruit? To the rescue! Okay, okay. The old song and dance, like always. Is Razor gonna be here? Ah, dude, I get a trial razor. Hell yeah! Keep back. I have razor, by the way. By I'm the just tree. making fun of the fact that it's like. He's one of the easier characters to get a hold of very early on. Hmm. Whew. Finally! These hilly trills are a little too obsessed with food for their own good. But never mind that. Are you okay? Did they Phew. I'm fine thanks to you. You are just in I don't know how much hilly trolls actually like hurt people. A pile of pulp, and I don't think there'd be much left of the fruit either. Yeah, that wouldn't be very happy. Um, keep your eyes peeled on the road. Got it. Well, thanks again. I'd better not delay this delivery any longer. Thanks to you too, kiddo. <sighs> What's up? Enemy following. Enemy? <laughs> I think we're a little closer than that. Oh, hi, Rosaria. On some level, you could even say that we're brother and sister. Hi, Rosaria. Rosaria? What the heck are you doing here? Uh, wait. Actually, turning up at random places is pretty normal for you. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of her characteristic. Okay, next question. What the heck do you mean, brother and sister? Varka taught you how to use that sword, I take it. Swift, but powerful. <laughs> I can spot that old-timer style anywhere. And he's the one who taught you how to use a polearm? I see you're not much of a talker. Well, there's something else you could learn from Varka. Never lost for words, even when he has nothing to say. It'd be good conversation practice for you. Just a shame we have no idea when I'll be back. It's okay. I will wait. Brother and sister? Oh, Paimon gets it. Varka is a father figure to both of them, so that makes them family. Just not by blood. Yeah, no. It's sort of like a oh, found family sort of thing. Anyway, don't you think? Yeah. Um, hard to say. <laughs> yeah, my entire journey is about a blood relationship, but also, like, <laughs> it's a stronger one. Hard to I say. In the final moments of your life, the people there with you won't necessarily be your blood relatives. Cold, dark, grown-up. You also don't remember what your real mother and real father look like? Huh. So you're helping him dig up some info on his biological parents. Yes. And trying to help him build a concept of family along the way. You could say that. All right, you got me. I barely have any memories of my birth parents. The last time I saw them was long before I had any understanding of the world around me. But that seems pretty common. Even in this day and age, there are plenty of people in the world who can't stop thinking about their families, but will never get to see them. Mm, anyway, yeah. If you're never going to meet someone, it's not worth spending mental energy on them. It's more important to focus on the kind of person you want to become. No, you are wrong about this. Lupacol protect each other. Human family, also important. Must care about them. Fine. So let's say you do find out who your parents were and they were saints. Or the opposite, they were complete monsters. What then? How does it change anything, Rosaria? How would that affect your life choices? What would you do about it? Um... Whew, Rosaria's take is a little on the nose. That's a hard one for Razor to answer. But it's normal to be curious. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make this any more difficult than it already is. But Razor's feeling lost and confused right now. And all the other monstaters we know are too sunny and bright to tell it like it really is. The sun nurtures many good things, but it can't do anything about the problems lurking in the shadows. I suppose. 
All right, I'll leave it there. <laughs> Take this flower. It's icy cold. A just mist? Like me. Barbara's busy preparing the sung poetry event for the Vine Lace Fest. A mist she flower. Away, so Pretty I'll neat. An ingredient out on behalf of the church. But can we really use a mist flower? Won't it freeze the entire bit? Probably up? not. It will just add a nice chill to the. No, not now that I've dealt with it. The bard did say to think freedom, didn't he? So go on, take it. It won't be a problem. Ah, Rosaria! You're more thoughtful than Paimon realized! Paimon, she will uh, smite you. Uh, the bard say that? Were you spying on us? Yeah, no, she's been spying on us the entire time. That, I'm not surprised by that at all. She likes Don't following it. us. It's nothing. Varka's been a big help to me in the past, so just consider it returning a favor. Besides, if I'm your older sister, I might as well act like it. <laughs> the, the Rosaria is one of those characters I'd love to be friends with, Iro. Now you see her, she would now utterly you despise me in the I'm same right, so. Oh, oh well, as love tender and true goes, that was pretty awkward, but still counts, right? Now that's left is the Knights of Avonius. <sighs> it is tender. And it was a bit true. Razor, are you still thinking about what Rosaria said? I mean, it's honestly a good idea to Her think words about it. Are like mist flower. They are cold and they sting. But cold also good for wounds. Like wolf hook. I need to think about it. Maybe then I will understand. It will definitely take some time. No need to rush. Thinking about like and comprehending scenarios like this when you're someone who didn't have their parents to grow up with it is a hard experience okay it's one of those things that you can't rush through you. i think while we walk so you see oh you hi kaya person for this and lisa oh, of course just in time lisa and i were just talking about razor's situation where were we ah yes the barrel. The barrel? Huh? But uh, obviously the nuts part is supposed to be a defender's will. But what kind of ingredient is a barrel? Obviously, that's not what he meant. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, Paimon, don't worry. You'll get your ingredient. I've already tasked someone with sorting it out. The person is very conscientious and wants to properly research their contribution, so it may take some time. Oh. Hopefully it'll be worth the wait. I think I As know barrel, who it is, but I don't exactly know. The ingredients. It might Surely be Micah. The giant cooking pot at Dada Upa Gorge. Um, ah, uh, the memories. After much deliberation, I realized this was a job for the most sociable and savviest member in our ranks, the cavalry captain. So I asked Yet him to we've take a never to seen a horse in Mondstadt. A barrel. Uh, or a horse, right. period. The they don't Lisa. exist We're in this game. Here, and At all. You're only trying to help At all. But I haven't been back there in a long time. This could be quite difficult to accomplish in just a single trip. Just a single trip. Difficult? For you? Don't be silly. Negotiating is your biggest strength. Fine Lisa Fest is one of the most important festivals in Mondstadt. And you know how D. Luke thinks better than anyone. Ah, yes. Having just Kaya and D. Luke hints, come together. How this is the first festival Mondstadt has had in a long time. We're short on much needed supplies for a multitude of reasons. Oh, who can help us? When he hears that, I guarantee you he'll offer to help out with finances and sourcing goods. Lisa's literally trying to extort Master D. Luke. Are you surprised? But also, D. Luke would hmm. totally go along I with suppose. it. All right. Well, he didn't take much persuading. I mean, Kia knows his brother like no other. And Paimon was just about to thank Lisa for the things she's been doing for Razor behind the scenes. Oh, Paimon doesn't even know whose side to be on anymore. Are you that surprised, Paimon? <sighs> Traveler and teacher did a lot for me. A lot of work. But me, I still can't answer questions. So useless. Dear me, what's gotten you so upset, my little wolf cub? We can't Some questions he can't stop thinking about. Ah, I see. 
Hmm. Cutie, how about you keep Kaya company while I stay here and come and collect him in a few days' time? The last ingredient should be ready by then as well. Okay. Splendid. I was just thinking about how nice it would be to have some company on my trip. Well. I don't know what is right, but I trust teacher. I accept. Okay. So it seems like I'm now going with Kaya. And Run along now. I'll come back for the third act. The Knights of send our regards. Which is fair. Works for me. Kaya, you're fond of a good drink, aren't you? By of us must be right up your alley. Probably. Uh, I had to guess. Kaya? Oh, I'm sorry. Lost in thought. My mind was elsewhere. What was your question? Ugh. Never mind. Nothing that important. <laughs> Paimon, don't act so hurt. He didn't mean anything by it. He's just thinking because he has to talk to his brother. Hi there, Master D. Luke. Hello, D. Luke. Oh, I was just wondering who'd be coming all the way out here during the Vine Laser Fest. So, it's you two. <sighs> and you too. Brr, so cold. Almost enough to make me feel unwelcome here, Master D. Luke. Don't forget that this is my home, too. I'm fairly certain that taking a trip home during festival season is a it's universal in a custom. custom. Come yeah. to all the cultures of yes. that. Please get to the point. The point is one that you've already raised yourself. The Vinlesa Fest. To celebrate this long-awaited festival, the acting Grand Master has been coordinating with both the church and mm, the adventure yes. guild to host a series of events. Unfortunately, given the financial situation of the Knights of Favonius, well, I'm sure you, I'm can, sure imagine. you can imagine. And the Knights of Favonius's woes have what exactly to do with me? You hey, just no need to be so cruel. Ah. Even I'm not going to take that. Everyone's just doing the best they can for Mondstadt now. I can't remember the last time I tasted Don Winery's Vinlesa Fest special. And I'm sure the Mondstadt populace would echo this sentiment. Mm, Are you yes. going to deny others the opportunity to drink to their heart's content just because you don't like to drink yourself? Check it out. Kai is not so subtly asking for freebies. He's actually doing it. What a guy. Anyway, speaking of the knights, everyone dearly hopes that you'll rejoin our ranks again one day. Then we'll be one big happy family again. If we were able to enjoy the sterling reputation... Wow, they have to be spiteful my, towards each I'm other. Sure people would be queuing for our charity booth all the way to Falcon Coast. <sighs> Give that silver tongue of yours a rest. You might need it to maintain public order at the festival. Duly noted on the financial issues you raised. I'll have Elzer follow up with Hertha in more detail. And I just so happen to have a batch of wine that I can offer... As a token of appreciation to everyone that has been working so hard for the festival, shall I address it to you personally? That would be an absurd request, even for me. The words, with compliments from the Dawn Winery, ought never be preceded by, to the cavalry captain. Is that not the unwritten rule? <laughs> You're better informed than I thought. In that case, I will leave this with Adeline and keep everything anonymous. Okay, okay. I really can't thank you enough. Master D. Luke is so generous. That's all Paimon needs to get that They they just have to be like the the right amount of spiteful well, towards each other. Like a drink a drop. Huh. Are you two here regarding the Vine Lacer Fest too? Actually, we're here about Razor. We need a barrel. To brew some thousand Poor wind wine. Razor. He grew up so fast, and he's still looking for his father. Master Diluc, we really ought to lend him a hand. How come Klee said he's looking for his mom, but Kaya says he's looking for his dad? It might make more sense to them, but it's gonna get confusing for everyone else. Uh, well... It's okay. I understand. It's because... Fair barrel in the winery. It's a little old, but it's been specially treated for durability. You could leave it next to a flaming flower all day and there wouldn't be a scratch. Yeah, it, it's that just... One should satisfy your needs. People bring up what's most important to them. Kia lost his father figure twice. 
just collected from the angel's share. So, and Klee uh, has her mom, who's constantly so away. Easy for us, Master D. Luke. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Re You're more than welcome. Helping each other is what friends do. Yeah. Wonderful. Always eager to help, and never forgets to return a favor. That's the Master D. Luke I know. Oh, it's nearly dinner time. Uh, would you care to stay for a meal? I wouldn't be opposed. How time flies. I'll be on my way then. <laughs> How did you put it? Ah, oh, yes. Taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. Now that even Master Diluc has made an offer, are you quite sure you won't stay for a meal after coming all this way, Master Kaya? I couldn't possibly, Adeland. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Oh, don't say that. How often do I get a chance to indulge my dear Master Kaya, hmm? Tea for the cavalry captain when you visit in an official capacity doesn't count. I only get to spoil you if you let me cook for you. Oh, uh... Well then, what happened to your swag? <laughs> Lost, for, Lost words. for words. <laughs> I like that. Dude, I love that interaction. You, surely you wouldn't dream of disappointing Adam. <laughs> <laughs> the more the merrier. All right. Then I'll take you up on the two offer. brothers sitting down for a warm home cooked meal for cutlery, the first please, time in like forever. So kind. <laughs> Ooh, Paimon's so full. Adeline's cooking's amazing. <laughs> Thanks for the hospitality. So beautiful. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join again anytime. Oh? Then I may have to tag along on the traveler's adventures more often in the future. <laughs> Ugh, is back to his usual way. Are you that surprised? All right, now that our task is complete and our bellies are full, it's time for me to get back to work. Take care, Master Kaya. Have a safe trip back. We should get going as well. Lisa's taking care of Razor, but the Vileys of Fest can't do without us. See yeah. You time, Master D. Luke. Indeed. Goodbye. It's nice to have an event like this that we get to actually see every character all together. I hate to be like this, but I think I'm going to have to call it here. I'm going to have to split it into three parts because I, I think, honestly, there's a lot to do in this festival. You have the three acts. I get managed to get two of them done, but there's a ton more events that I need to get through. And the final part with Razor himself. I will probably be back after a couple days. I will probably try to cover a bit more other Genshin things in the meantime. But yeah, no, I'm going to have to call it here. I hope you guys had a great time today. And I, I enjoyed all the story. I know I didn't really do much gameplay, but... I really just, sometimes I just want to sit back and just talk while enjoying the story writing of Genshin. Because it's, it's pretty good at times. It's pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. I'll see all of you later. And uh, yeah, no, I'm calling it here. Have a good rest of your day. And goodbye. <laughs>